欢迎光临。哇！
是在美国留学的最好代表。Hi, I'm Gabby Castellanos. Garrison Shinyanti, Kuguan Lundian, Junghua de Huan Zheng, Junghua de Huan Ji Wu, Yan Fan Ying Le, Jungfu Dui Yan Min Shin Wu Wu Ha De Wu Guan Xi. 有许多次，我的美国朋友在电视上看到中中国人们在城市里戴着口罩，都曾说到。你们的城市污染真严重啊！由此可见，你们政府不会关心人民的生活。那么，我想请问，这个 stereotype 是正确的吗？让我们先将这个问题放一放，先给大家看看中国近年近年来的环境质量状况。在二零零二年，中国的环境污染状况可谓是十分惊人。除此之外，在近年中，我国重大环境污染事件也出现频繁。这些事件都无一例外地体现了中国环境污染事态的严峻，乱排污、少治理、监管不到位等问题也多次显露出来，成为重大污染事件的重要原因。但俗话说得好，凡事都有两面性，在环境污染的背后，中国又发生了什么变化呢？根据国家统计局的统计的图表显示。一由一九九一年起步，至一九九二年开始，中国国民生产总值，也就是 GDP 的增长速率飞速增加，直至二零零七年止。而 GDP 的增长迅速，其中一重大原因是得益于我国工业的重要发迅速发展，而这也同时意味着排污成为其中必不可少的一个环节。结合以上两幅图，我们了解到，随着我国 GDP 及工业的发展，污染的排放日益增。综上所述，我们之前的发展并未专门顾及环境，而是将重点放在了经济方面。其中原因在于，当时摆在我们面前的不是环境问题，而是人民的温饱问题。而只有经济与工业的不断发展，才能包使包括就业、吃穿等在内的一系列基本问题得到较好的改善。现在让我们回想一下最初的问题：环境污染的出现，也就意味着政府对人民生活的不关心吗？相信看过之前的分析后，我们的答案是否定的。因为总的来说，污染出现并不能说明政府对生活的不关心。与其相反的，政府的关心大量投入到了人民最基本的温饱生存问题上。试问一下，如果一个人连生存都难以实现，那么生活又何尝谈起呢？如果活着都困难，那么又何尝有时间顾及环境的好坏呢？但这难道就说明了我们应该先发展后治理吗？现在我国出现的环境问题以及长期以来的历史教训，清晰地反映出这是不可行的。在经济发展同时，我们也必须将环境保护同时考虑在内，在内，并不能一味地追求增经济增长。这也就解释了为什么国家在十近十年来。放对经济增长进行了放缓。从图上可以看出，从二零一零年开始，我国经济 GDP 的增长速率实现实呃实现呃较大明显的下降。同时，我国的环境状况也在同时也在也在期间得到改善。综上所述，只有发展与治理同时进行，才能使发展长久的持续下去，做到我们最终的目标——可持续发展。Our Chinese kids love to hang out with their friends. They love humor and they love jokes. And they have their high school sweethearts. And they can be crazy and creative like American students. It's good as American people to express themselves. We Chinese people do not say thank you or I love you at home, even in any other situation. Our old Chinese tradition, parents do not kiss or hug us. In my mind, I never remember my parents hug me or say they love me. Of course, I know they love me dearly. What would you say when, when you said um, that you handled it the Chinese way instead of the American way? Yes. What, how would you define the Chinese way versus the American way? No. Um, the Chinese way, you see the bridge, 
if you go to if you ever go to China, you see the bridge is not like um, like here America. The bridge is direct. The Chinese bridge will be like that, ziggled, mm -hmm. and we believe that's beautiful. That's the way we think. Instead of we go directly to you, say, I need something. I would just let's say I need a cup of water, and I was sick, or I would just tell my husband, Hey, honey, I'm so sick. I'm so thirsty. I would not say, honey, can you go get me yeah, a cup of water? water? And get him, let, him, okay. let, let him confused and let him guess. And then I got confused, I got we upset. Do that too. <laughs> <laughs> we do that too. <laughs> so when I talk, um, the Chinese way, I believe, is more like if I talk the way I'm talking right now. Two teens get ready for school. and off to school they go. Two teens go to meet their friends, a backpack and cell phone in tow. Two teens do well in school, with a bad grade here and there. Two teens are plagued by stereotypes because they are unaware. Two teens get home from school, say hello to dad and mom. Two teens should be studying. But worry about makeup and prom. Two teens now go to the same school and learn it's plain to see that those teens are just two teens when you break the boundaries. <laughs>